Hey everyone, welcome back to Angry Coach Marathon. Believe it or not, it's 2022 and people are still playing the best RTS ever made. StarCraft 2. There have been many challengers, many exciting announcements, and many failed attempts in the past. But at the end of the day, nothing keeps people coming back like StarCraft 2. The best game that you've thought about playing again. But like, you know, you have a life and like the game is hard and like there's these minor gripes that you used to have and now getting back into it and it just seems like a lot and maybe you reinstall it. I don't even know why you uninstall it. It's not that large of a game, but like maybe you reinstall it and you're like, oh, but but now everybody's just cheesing on the ladder and you know what? Actually, I'd rather just watch. I'd rather just watch. Okay? It's, it's better to just watch um, other people. And this is for you, because while there are still people playing StarCraft 2, there are still most definitely people doing it poorly. So this is for you, my friend, that has not laddered in several years, but can still look down upon players who have not achieved a rank that you haven't achieved for half a decade. This is for you, my friends, who want to get an entertaining commentary on your match without realizing that it was entirely caused by your own incompetence. But while there are still people willing to spend their money out of game to be told to spend it in it, we will still have the Angry Coach Marathon. So thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe, and let's get started. Jimmy, to the game, damn it! <clears throat> Platinum Proton, sand, sad trombone to start. Sad trombone, I do a uh, solid name. Some, some credit there, and bucking the stereotypes by being a platinum toss. All right, all right. Let's see if there were any comments with this one as we kick things off. Sad trombone, get, getting in first, says, My PVZ de decision-making is, and this is a direct quote. Uh, it, well, it says chef's kiss, but just for my PV... I'm sorry. My PVZ decision-making is, uh... So thank you. Which makes me, leads me to believe it's not. But we will see. All right. So. Did we just go AFK for a sec? We'll get there. Okay. Feels like the screen is like off to the side a little. I don't know why it's not centered, but maybe when you're playing on your Steam Deck, it's harder. Typical Protoss. Cool, my wife is yelling at me trying to watch on my phone. Uh, okay, Bummer. All right, like. We'll get there. So, I do, I do appreciate this. The, the classic, like, I scouted. Um, but also... Like, j I mean, because you're supposed to. Maybe we interpret it as an actual hedge first. It's unclear. Didn't really look at the pro. So far, close. The wall off seems a bit 
odd, but... Okay. Alright, so here's here we're making a big mistake. Um, that mistake is Mike rowing. Okay? One, it's not going great. Um, two, that's not how you control adepts. Three, build probes. So far, not an egregious offense, but... <laughs> no, no, okay. Alright, so... I will give some credit. We do appear to have a build up to this point. But this is where the recipe hits a paywall or something. And uh, I don't know. He, he had a queen. Therefore, I need a shield battery. And also to build another adept. And also this gateway. But I'm also going to expand, I think. Like, all right. And also, I'm only building one probe. Even though, like, what, what is it? What is it? Making it do one of these things better, not three of them poorly. Okay. Is sad, tr sad trombone, are you in the chat? What do I say? I, I think we might actually, like, in the low APM challenge, what do I always say when scouting? Okay. I'm gonna give you a hint. It's referencing the best and classic Counter-Strike map. What do I say? Scouts and probes. Yes. You got it. So explain to me why the fuck you aren't building any probes. Kind of a rhetorical question. Or comment. All right, charge some gates. Yeah, we're filling in the blank. Like, the stew's coming together here. We're adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a few more gateways. Charge, plus one. It's... eh. It's not perfect. Not terrible. Twilight, well, I mean, not the Twilight, the Templar Archives. Eventually, we'll get Templar-related things. Yeah, okay. I, you know, I can't complain too much about the gateways, I guess. But at some point, we do want to just build units out of them. Hero has made quite an impression on people. My PVZ decision-making is chef's kiss. So far, it doesn't seem like any decisions have been made. We've just eventually wandered our way along the mostly correct path to the CIA build here. The charge lot of Mortal Archon. It, like, I, I think really the difference between a Protoss player is going to move up and a Protoss player who's moving nowhere fast is because we saw a few of those moments where he's like, but what if I built some shield batteries? Or what if I got the rest of the tech tree? But then he stopped himself and he's like, gateways, charge lots, archons. Like, <laughs> and, and that is paying off, as you can see here. The sad F2 A move build for Protoss is far superior to that of Zerg. Ah, you see what we're doing here. You see where this went wrong. You started micro -ing. Um, 
you attack, you're like, all right, it's going pretty well. And then you're like, now I'm going to micro. To which I ask, what the fuck are you doing? All you had to do was nothing, and it would have gone better. If you look away from this army while it's A-moving, I'm not convinced 100% you win, though if you actually activated the oracles, you might. If you had looked away from this army and done, you know, anything else. Now, a lot of people see that as a criticism of StarCraft 2. It's like, uh, so much of the time, like, microwing actually hurts you. I don't see that as a criticism. It's because the game is so much better and so far ahead of its time that your units are smarter than you, which is not a high bar to clear, but it is not something players from other games are so used to. Your units will fuck this shit up until you fuck them over, and that's where we are now. So stop microwing and go macro. Mm. You have 1,800 minerals, 600 gas, you got 12 gateways off cooldown, and literally nothing in production but upgrades. Good job on the upgrades, though. If you want a fucking pat on the back and a slap across the face, I'm here for you. Yeah, this is a didn't warp in enough units in time issue. Also, the secondary thing, instead of just attacking, Warp Prism exists, by the way. The oracles are for making it, for forcing them to have anti-air. They're not just there to look pretty. Okay, so this is the point in the game where you're winning painfully hard. You're in a position where you can easily win the game from here. Got four bases. Got 75 probes. Got a dozen gateways. Got double upgrades. So you max out. You send 12 charge lots towards one side. You send the rest of your donkey-ass army uh, towards the other. And you win the game. More production. How about we leave the criticisms to the professionals, like an automated service on SC2 replay stats or literally anyone else? He doesn't need more production, he just needs to use it. And if you're like, that's what I meant, well, it doesn't come off over text. Your inelegant attempt at contributing is neither solicited nor appreciated, and neither have you paid me, and that's the most important part, so fuck you, pay me. All right, so. This is 16 roaches with 2-1 against four archons, two immortals, and two auric- Like, you win this fight, and then, like, so this- This is the compounding issue here. It's not just oh, the micro God. is now bad. I Thank you, Tucker. Attention. It's that the micro has replaced. It's not a fucking turn-based strategy game. You're not playing Civilization or Age of Empires. You don't have like 30 minutes in order to build up your next attack. You have to also be using these 12 gateways you so diligently built, the multiple robotics facilities that, wait, you didn't build multiple robots. Build two, ro three robos. All right, you know what? Four robos. It's not like you can't afford it. This is where it goes wrong. And yes, it does seem like both of you are, are... Both players in this game were pretty solid when they're focused on the macro. They didn't control their units well, but they didn't need to. So it comes down to more shit countering less shit. <sighs> all right. It was all right. Though a little bit, a sprinkle. Isn't building more robos more production? I've got another important counterpoint. Go fuck yourself. Uh, Iron Chef, uh, 7%. Oh, a 
follower. Thank you. Our dad for six months. Our dad is chilling for six months. Happy Father's Day. And overall, it was a B. So the hope score is if you play a medium amount of games, how likely I think you are to move up a league or if you're in diamond, up a tier. Diamond plus is up one tier. Um, in a month. Like a medium amount of games being five per league. Five for bronze, 10 for silver, 15 for gold, 20 for platinum. Which sounds like a lot. The average StarCraft game uh, is like 15 minutes. And it only goes, like, the average Grandmaster game is actually, like, 9 minutes. But 15 minutes. 20 games a week, okay? So, that's about 5 hours. 5 hours. You're looking at the top, in that game, I think, was less than 15 minutes. Uh, not all games will be of that length. So, if you're not willing to put 5 or so hours in, I don't think you can expect to improve. So, though, you might. I think that is a good baseline, though it isn't necessary for everyone. So a B is like, probably, probably, as long as you don't double down on the micro and focus more on the macro. But a lot of players go the other direction. Next. Oh yeah, and, and some people might be wondering about the percentages. This is how annoyed I am. Um, this is quantified with a number as opposed to a letter, because that's how it is. Um, if one of these, whether it's Terran in general, Attention Deficit Zerg, ADZ, or Iron Chefs, Protoss, uh, who just come up with shit and have no plan, if they reach 100%, their price is double. If I've seen enough of that shit today, based on whatever number I throw on there, double. Terrans just keep fucking banking up 2,700 minerals on a 112 supply block for a minute and a half in the Diamond League and complaining they can't play late game? Double. Alright? Protoss players keep slapping down a Stargate and building Void Rays after telling me they don't build Void Rays anymore? Double. Zerg players forget what happened five seconds ago and directly quote me the exact opposite and end up building lings in response to literally everything. Double. But we're not there yet. Oh, BYH is up. Bless your heart. Which are people I'm just excited are playing StarCraft and, and glad to see them enjoy themselves. Uh, speaking of the opposite, Diamond Terran. Uh, Diamond 3. Terran, I feel the need that, that. That definitely is relevant. It does seem to be, I don't, I don't know why, but there seems to be a trend. Certain days have more, like, I, I, at some point, I want to be original. It's not easier for me to, to commentate, to, to coach, if you would, to criticize the same sort of replay over. You might think it gets easier, like, actually doing the build. No, it just gets more boring, because I feel the need to be creative, like every fucking gold protoss. I don't feel like I should be trying to repeat poorly what I've done in the past, like every Diamond Terran. In, instead, I want to have something original to work with, but not always do I get that, so that at least I'll have more money at the end of the day. Additional supply depots are required. Your command center upgrade is complete. The Grim Reaper has arrived. SCV ready. SCV ready. You want to take a fucking guess?
How long? How long has that marine been done? Can you just tell me what, what your biggest struggle against Zerg is, Bella Rivera? Like, what, what parts of the game are the most difficult? I try to micro the Reaper too much. Well, that much was fucking obvious. And ghosts. So, uh, you know what? Never mind. I don't know why I ask. So, a lot of Terran players, myself included in Terran vs. Zerg, the real struggle is continually pressuring the Zerg without focusing too much on it. It's, it's not letting the Zerg have such an economy or letting them get too many units without kind of keeping track of it. It is having some way to keep control of things like creep and expansions while also not slipping on your build behind and this really does uh like it, it starts at the beginning with the first reaper and then when you follow up with hellions except you don't follow up with hellions you don't get a reactor everything's delayed you won't have a second hellion or maybe even a first hellion because you'll be sitting there waiting for a reactor for another as long as it takes to build a round of lings or maybe even a queen so this first fucking Reaper, yeah, you might slightly annoy him, and every other Platinum Zerg will have a mental breakdown just because a Reaper actually exists, but that doesn't mean you need to either. No second guess. Shut the fuck up. Like, at first I'm like, oh, well, I shouldn't shut down every person in the chat because we want to have, like, I want to have engagement, activity, but then people say stupid shit. Second guess, maybe, but maybe not. There's no necess necessity in many builds for a second guess. That is not what we're talking about at all. What we're talking about right now is the fact that a Marine is done. He has 50 gas. It's now, now is time for reactor. It's actually already late because some fucky part of the build here. I don't know, but a reactor takes 36 seconds to build. A factory takes 43 seconds to build. This is why you can build the marine and then the reactor, because the factory takes a little longer. But the factory is halfway fucking done, and every single second, which is already more than the time it's going to take to finish the factory, that you're sitting there with no reactor is a second you're not building at least one extra Hellion, if not two. And those seconds do matter. They matter a lot more than the few seconds you slightly annoy the fucking drones. You're so engrossed with your shitty, mediocre, and unsuccessful Reaper Micro, you come back, forget your build, build another Marine. This is not an, like, Terran players don't get to be creative. They don't get to just freestyle it, okay? Go play Protoss if you're, if you're into that, but you don't get to just make shit up like this. I bet, well, I don't know if you specifically, but Terran players are the kind of players with a fucking notebook to write down a, a perfectly flowchart inside of the lines of exactly what the build should be. And then you get into the game, you emotionally damage two drones, and it all goes out the fucking window. Jesus, this is, like, this is nearly a turn the replay off right now game. Um, like, this is not a game-losing mistake by any means. But this is... Th this is why I say the Reaper is a cameraman. Have I not repeated that 75 times lately? I guess not. We haven't done Angry Coach. I felt like I was saying it so much, it got ingrained. The Reaper is a cameraman. You get in, you look around. Oh, that's cool. You move on with your fucking life. And, uh... Oh, one, you didn't delay the third. Two, you killed no drones. Three, everything else is delayed. The build's way off. And it matters. It really does. The, this is the difference. You're lucky the Zerg player is just as terrible as you. Why? 
because this reactor wouldn't be done until almost like you're not even going to have hellions out till after 330 maybe 340 why is this important because if the zerg player wasn't distracted by the simple existence of a reaper and by the way this is not an argument for your reaper micro this is pointing out how mediocre you both are and at the end of this fucking 14 minute game how very unlikely it is neither of you are going to point to this situation as a moment where you could improve because that would require actually going into a replay and reflecting on the mistakes of the first few minutes as opposed to uh worrying about the late game army compositions like ghost versus lurkers or other shit you can't use correctly because you spam the select army hockey anyways the point is the existential threat of a fucking reaper has delayed his speed but if it didn't if he got it on fucking time then the zergling speed will be done around 335 340 on the outside that's your standard zergling speed timing and if he just randomly made 12 donkey ass lings. You literally would have no units to defend it because of your own incompetence and your own insistence on pretending like you're beyond and not even doing a shadow of an impression of cure. The summary is stop microing your fucking Reaper. And it dies. Was it worth it? Ten percent, Farrens. Just keep a running tally. Honestly, the, the Reaper dying was a best case scenario because otherwise you continue microing it. So we fit them in. notice how the entire build is like now we just have a hellion there should already be two hellions and a reaper this is why it feels like zergs just get out of control and you can't do anything it's because you have nothing to do something about it like there should be hellions already uh, like denying why explain to me one letter why why like, why didn't I? I'm surprised I got these aliens out anyways. The fuck was that? Why do you even go Hellions? Just go like 2-1-1 and fail the micro medivax. What the fuck is this? Once again, the only redeeming quality and the only reason you've gotten a diamond at all is because you pretended to spend your money. You're dealing with an advanced platinum Zerg. You're playing directly into his incompetent hands. Look at his money. He's got 1,200 minerals and literally nothing in production. This is not a reliable ranking up and playing mildly competent players who don't have an attention span of a challenge squirrel. Okay. This is the YOLOing your units in and then forgetting why you did it is not a long-term improvement strategy. Ah, yes. Beautiful. There are enemy units anywhere! <laughs> it's an overlord. Yeah, but it's in my base! So, engineering bathe, barracks four and five, like, <laughs> gas is on the low ground. Which will now remember. Not a turn based. What? Okay. So micro my macro instead of my units? 
sure, yeah. Alright. So, if you had- if you just continue producing units, um, if you keep pumping out marines and getting any upgrades, which you're somehow ahead on upgrades, which is impressive, I do expect this widow mine drop is the reason why the game continues well. I'm assuming he wins at the end because this does seem like one of those like, well, I wasn't sure I had the best micro in the fight, but I but I managed to pull through, so my macro was pretty good, wasn't it? It's like, well, if a, a first grader can probably beat up a toddler, but that's not really a competition you want to have. Nailed it. Another successful harass. We've now killed eight drones for the low, low cost of five Hellions, a Reaper, and a full Widow Mine drop. Eight drones, though. Think about it. Oh, yeah, by the way, supply blocked at 125 over 125, 750 gas in the bank, unable to produce any more units. That drop has let the Zerg catch up. So, uh, if you had just focused on, you know, producing fucking units instead of whatever the fuck that was, then I think it's, it's reasonably likely you could have maxed out at like 11 minutes, just walked across the map. But instead, now the Zerg player is like, oh yeah, maybe I should build things. Of course, they're kind of busy creep spreading instead of, you know, building units. So there's a little bit of leeway here, but... Ah, uh, yes. Obviously, it's time for a Ghost Academy. Um, sure. Yeah. More Why not? You know, when I see someone with a lair and uh, mass hydraling bane, I'm like, Ghost. That's what I want to be using now. All right, not a turn-based strategy game, okay? All right, just uh, say it with me. Real-time strategy. That means the game does not pause so you can take your micro turn. Neither player acknowledges that, but it does not pause. Fun fact. So, this is the difference. Like, I'd say the majority of games, maybe not 80%, but like 60% of games at this level, at at the um, uh, diamond, like the technically diamond level are decided at this stage. They could be decided by, uh, they could be decided by, um, the early game micro and all that. But this is where most of the games are decided. It's like which player is physically capable of doing anything else but staring at the screen they're currently staring at. And usually, the answer is neither. But we'll have to see at the end of the day. I'm assuming our Terran player, but... Because... I. Let's think about it. The Zerg player has 15 Hydras, 30 supply in the bank right now. Does he have Larva? Oh, yeah. Terran player has 40 Marines in the bank. But here we are with an actually comparable army size. So I guess matchmaking does work. The minerals have up and down. Mineral field depleted. All right, one last chance before I turn the replay off. What is it, Bellerophon? What is it? This is a test of like, 
when looking here at a replay. Paused. With uh, every opportunity for hindsight. What is missing? The most obvious thing. Building units. You know the production tab is on the fucking screen, right? <laughs> like, it's 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 there. You know, it, it the hotkey is D. It's upgrades. Okay. You are built, like... Upgrades, because, like, that is the one thing, one that almost always will benefit you. Two, you is the least APM required. But you look at this, you're like more you no. Get the fuck out of here. Times 8. Ah, yes. The army's too scary, so I'm gonna send out two medevacs. See, at least this time we have upgrades. We're going through a lot of effort to lose this game. But still won't. Because the, the, the Zerg could not bring it together. And they're out of here! Hmm. Shame on you. Like a light shaming. It Shame. was... Yeah, Shame. most of that stuff. Shame. In a replay, you could be like, that wasn't right. But I bet you're gonna fucking do it again. I bet the next game, the next ten games, you're gonna do the same goddamn things. But good luck. Overall, it's a C plus. It's a you're going to keep making the. I've seen it before. You're going to keep making the same mistakes. That you macroed well enough to beat the advanced platinums. They like cure, not be on. Well, that was neither. But we now have Kybrit. Um, Kybrit. Coming in to show us another classic game of yada yada battle cruisers. Uh, putting in 70 but wait, is it battle cruisers though? No, this game it's Thor's against battle cruisers. Just an absolute like hybrid, your favorite, um, uh, long term liver challenged, uh, mentally incoherent. Uh, Eastern European royalty doctor, uh, Twitch chat man. Uh, Kybrid here to tell us all about how willfully ignorant he's going to be on this particular day. So, very exciting. Uh, thank you. Alright, looks like we're gonna do a proxy rex. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Coaching is in the name, but that's really more of like a... It's an honorary title. SCB ready. Hmm, yes. Clearly, this is... It's TVT, by the way. You can't build there. Wow, what a cancel. What a decisive cancel. Nope, put that building it was five seconds from finishing and lifting off. The the the, the barracks just pops right down. Thank you, now Hank. Now I have your attention. Wow, just Hank and San for his children. A zest esque dunk Stop right there. Like, oh my god, there's no way I can finish this command center. I can't stay here literally one more second. <sighs> if it's stupid and it works, is it still stupid? Yes. Yes. I want to give you a decisive and unequivocal answer. The answer is yes. This 
Ah, uh, bunkers. Yes, a bunker contained. Well, no, uh, there's the NG Bay. Mm hmm. So, the thing now, of all people, Kybrid should know about battle cruisers. Uh, battle cruisers can teleport. Never mind, moving on. <laughs> The add-on is finished, so you have no excuse not to... Research is done. Let's hope you click... Was your so. face burning to the ground part of the plan? Ready. I don't want to alarm the battle cruiser just flies by and dies to high sec auto tracking turrets. Because, of course, it Being does. Attacked. Why wouldn't that be what happens? You've built a fancier command center. Instead of just losing the game to a single battle cruiser, now... We're pretty much winning. So that's happening. Your base has uninvited guests. Which, do, it took a battlecruiser existing to give the reminder of, oh yeah, those units could have potentially gotten to my base. So, nice of him to give some uh, foreshadowing. Not sure about that NG Bay placement. Your base is under attack. We're all gonna die. So remember how I criticized that that Diamond Terran about microing instead of macroing? Good thing you just ignored that because without this cyclone, um, where would we be? Base is under attack. Like without this cyclone, who knows what could have happened? Your Your base has some against like seven unupgraded marines. That could have been a devastating counterattack without such Out intense micro. Idle workers are so untidy. Wow, you mind your add-on come ready. Those explosions, your supply box, that's your base. Red SCV ready. I remember when this was all systems now. Upgrades done. Upgrade complete. Wow, mine all those minerals already. Look at you. SCV ready. Out of minerals. Oh yeah. All hands to battle station. What a tank push though. Out of minerals. Idle workers are so untidy. Add on complete. Where's that one cyclone when you need it? Base is under attack. That geyser is done. You're worth it. Yeah. Wow. You might also need to build something. Was your base burning to the ground part of the plan? Was your base burning to the ground part of the plan? Unattended SCVs are known to explode. Careful. You've built a fancier command center. Out that geyser is fresh. Your units are add on complete. Glad we're recreating the Wings of Liberty box. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Landed Vikings. Mm hmm. Well, did you know Thors can outrange planetaries? With, unless the planetary is high sec auto tracking. Fun fact! Ah uh, yes, gotta get that money back for the salvage. You are fresh Guys are empty, time to Oh the repair! 
Ah, yes. Attacking with unsieged tanks. Everyone knows that's illegal. Thank you, Grant. Your SCVs are being harassed. It's ruining workplace morale. The game ends, not because someone won, but because one player decided to let it end. So here we are. Uh, we learned nothing. We're worse for it. Uh, there was nothing there worth uh, criticizing or commenting on. That game happened. Um, they will continue to happen to some extent. Good luck, and may God have mercy on your soul. Shame. 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 The Terran percentage doesn't go up, because I don't I don't consider that Terran gameplay. Um. Yeah. All right, so... We have Barry the Boomer, who eventually figured out how to um, send in a replay. Uh, his name in-game is, is Milkman. Uh, he made sure to... He sent in his account info. Um, the bugged Master Toss. I don't... Um, so not, not the newest replay. Ah, uh, yes. So he says we got a good game here. Ah, uh, very exciting. Remember to get your replays in. We're actually going through pretty quick today. Oh, yeah. Afterwards, by the way, for those watching live, we're going to be having a sponsored watch party of the boys. Um, because they're going... So even if you don't have Amazon Prime, make sure to keep the stream open so I get more money. But they're like, we'll pay you to watch this. So that's, so yeah, I look forward to that. So if we're done early, I'm good to go. You already watched that. Well, so did I, but I'll survive, I think. I, I a live reaction. So, ah, uh, yes. Against Wolf King XD, the 20 minute game. So we're not watching that one. We're going to watch this one where he loses to a Terran in 12 minutes. Well, the watch party, it'll be the last episode. So if you're not caught up, it will be a spoiler. It is a specific episode they want us to watch. Essentially, they're just promoting the next episode. I get, I bet they're testing out whether this does anything. What is The Boys about? It's a superhero TV show about superheroes. Everybody loves superheroes. Or else. All right, Milkman, a gold zerg. So, um, all right. Okay, so just, just attack the SCV. No, okay, all right, very. Close enough. No, you don't need to drop, okay. All right, all right. So you have overlords. Overlords exist. Um. You don't need the drone scout. What are you gonna see? It's like, oh, he's tearing and he has a barracks. Like, what if he's proxy raxing? Well, it doesn't really matter. You're already pretty far behind because you got distracted by one SCV. Honestly, I hate superheroes, but I love the boys. That's probably because the boys hate superheroes. That's kind of the entire point. That, like, that's the whole thing. Spoilers. It's not like a, that's a bold statement right there. Attack. 
All right. Barry. So, this one is so bad, lol. Yes, you actually lose this one. Uh, so you got two gas. We drone scouted. This overlord is in the general area of where it's supposed to be. You know, there's an actual spot for it. They literally designed the maps to give a, a spot for overlords. Our watch party's okay on Twitch if it breaks Twitch terms of service. They are literally paying me Twitch money to watch the Amazon Prime video service. So if I break the terms of service to make money from Amazon, well, hopefully somebody figures that out. That they are literally paying, not figuratively, directly through Twitch. I learned that from Pig, the pervert pillars. You learned that from Pig. Well, obviously he didn't do a good job of explaining. Maybe you should have listened to me and I would have showed you where they actually are because that's not it. After this game? What do you mean after this game? This was like 12 hours ago. After this game, you finally fucking learned... So almost every map, it's right there. It's right there. That's how you can tell, has he expanded, until there's an air unit. You can see anything coming out of the base. It's literally map hex for Zerg. It, it's intentional because Zergs get screwed if they don't have some idea of, of either way. So we're building a Baneling nest. No. Wrong. Building a lair. Okay. You know, he's just gold. And he's a boomer. Okay, but he's like, no, I'm not a boomer. I'm 32. Well, you're never too young. Um. So 10% to attention deficit zerg. Because if you're wondering what attention deficit zerg looks like... I mean, like Toss often just blindly go Colossi, so Banelings are the same thing. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Correct. I, that is correct. Now, correct in the sense that saying that already was wrong, that is not something that Protoss of any competent level or Zerg of any competent level actually do. It is an indicator of having no knowledge of the game despite scouting so actively you've actually confused yourself. It is definitely one of the, the bellwethers of someone who has no plan whatsoever, which is something that both Zergs and Protoss share, especially in the Metal League. So yes, it is correct. Now I have your Are you dickus. Oedipus is chilling for 29 months. So we're going for a baneling nest, and then we're getting zerg and then a lair, and then we're getting zergling speed, and now we're getting an Evo chamber. Alright. Twitch chat sub opportunity. And I'm not just saying subbing for free with Amazon Prime, which means you can watch the voice later. But, uh, no. Absolutely free. But only if you're correct. Um. First building. 
Don't worry. It's okay. Here's what I want. First, I want Barry the Boomer. I want you to tell me what your first building is. With Lair Tech. Like, first Lair Tech building. And remember, Barry is very unlikely to actually remember what it is and is almost certainly wrong. No, I'd love to know what you think it is, Barry, first. And then with that taken into account, I would love to bring it to Twitch chat. He says Infester. Wow, I didn't even have that written down. All right, Infester. <laughs> Pretty much anything. <laughs> okay, which is not a building, but close enough. So 30 seconds, Twitch chat. So, will Twitch chat trust Barry? He said Infester. He said it like, he said it like, that's the plan. We're going for Infester. Mm. All right, 30 seconds. The people do not trust Barry. Okay, but if it ends up being pretty much anything else is like ignoring the lair for upwards of a minute in favor of, you know. I think that's a safe enough bet. You know, I, I'm... We'll see, let's see. He says infester. I mean, eventually, because obviously first we have to scout. I wonder... Barry, Barry. I wonder what he's going for. I don't know if there's any information we could gather without having to micro zerglings. If there was only some way. Moving on. That's pretty much anything else. It doesn't include Infester. It includes anything that was not one of the fucking options. Forces are under attack. Oh, I wonder if he has Marines. Okay, so so far we have Baneling Speed. Um, we have Banelings. We have uh, some Injects. Now I have your attention. We got some Zerglings. The skybox is chilling for I, at this months. point, I think Bro, pretty I much anything else lesson. covers it because uh, we are sitting at twenty-eight drones. At so I don't know. I guess I guess those pig guides are not panning out. Maybe you should try the winter guides that say every time fifty drones by seven minutes. 50 drones by seven. I have a sneaking suspicion we're not going to get 50 drones by seven minutes. I don't give a fuck what tech building you build as long as you can build queens. Why are you always so angry, Winter? I'm so angry because people ask stupid fucking leading questions in Twitch chat, and I barely get paid enough to tolerate it. Thank you, Skybox, for 13 months. So, you know what? All right, fuck it. It is pretty much anything else. It's almost everything else. It's anything but Lair Tech right now. I guess Baneling Speed, which is the only semi-correct thing so far. Of course, he saw Marines. It, the, it's not, the point is not whether or not the Marines are coming across the map. The point is not whether they're in imminent danger. Very technically, Banelings do counter Marines. So, that is very close to being in the realm of correct. So we'll give him that. And we'll also give Twitch chat their stupid subs. I do love the active lane scouting. Wonder Gaming has gifted three He subs did to remember he said Infester. That was a minute ago. There's a spore. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna end up with less drones than we had a minute ago at this rate. I look forward to it. Well, those Zerglings didn't work out so well. Alright, gotta get that creep. Still waiting on that lair tech. Sick overlord. 
Oh my god, did you see that, guys? He moved his overlord from here to here, which is much safer. That was definitely a valuable use of our time. You know, at the end of the day, it might end up being an infestation pit. But I believe in the spirit of things. So while technically lings and banes with upgrades are potentially correct, it's fucking wrong. Every part of this is wrong. It's horrible. It's so bad. We're not even platinum. And the difference between a platinum and a gold player is the platinum at least pretends like they're taking a fucking third. This is, I played the Zerg campaign on normal and I'm wondering when Kerrigan pops out level of micro. That's what we fucking are. That's the spirit. I like how we tested it, like, is that enough? Wow. 840 minerals. We got 39 drones at six minutes, which is... No, it's horrible, but we got nothing in production. But maybe these banelings. Watch this baneling micro. Baneling's well known for being a, a very APM efficient unit. Yo, crushed it. That's why I've only lost twice the resources. And now maybe a lot of people don't think about this, but when a Baneling attacks, it fucking dies, okay? So when you attack with a dozen Banelings and kill 10 Marines, you've lost that battle. You have lost that battle. This is why I say Banelings are for closers. All right, B-A-C, blood alcohol content, banelings are for closers. These are usually very related things, though for reasons you might not expect. Something, something corrosive bio, but banelings are for people who understand why banelings exist. You don't just build banelings for the sake of it, to induce balance complaints out of Gold League Terrans. And Roach Warren, which isn't even technically lair tech or a good idea. So we're still waiting on that lair tech. It's been like half the game now. So that Zergling's gonna scout. What do you think that Zergling's gonna see, Barry? You think it's gonna see Marines and tanks? Or is it gonna see the fucking mech switch Brood War build? Gold Terran shit. That like, what the fuck? No, this is bio curious. Fuck. Ah! It's not gonna see that because there's no way it's getting there, but. <laughs> Banelings are for closers, though. It's true. It is not even like a figurative statement. Banelings are for busting through the door. So you can raid his house and take all his goodies. Banelings are not the end goal. Banelings are a means to an end. If all you have are banelings, you don't have a solution. And Hydra Den. So, Infester was not right. I, I, I did not... I thought giving Barry the opportunity may be a redeeming quality. That's a lie. I lied. I knew he wouldn't remember. I knew for a fucking fact, more than Barry did, that he had no fucking idea what the fuck he built. It is incredibly and blindingly and glaringly and painfully obvious that he had no fucking idea or memory of this game, which he played yesterday. By the way, this is not from like a month and a half ago. This, this was, this was five games ago, all right? And two of those games are 30 seconds long. This was three actual games ago. It, it has not been like a huge number of games. There has not been a lot of opportunity for growth since then. All right, like... <laughs> 
This is representative. Stop scouting. Never scout again. Do not worry about your opponent. 150% of your problems, and don't quote my math, because we're not worrying about numbers here. Never, ever scout again. I want you to put all your overlords behind your base. I don't want you to build any more zerglings. No zerg- Anything that ends in lings is a no. No fucking zerglings. Okay. No zerglings. No fucking banelings. None of that. No more. You're a disgrace. It's painful. At least now we're building roaches, which is definitely not better. Uh, the roaches are clearly a bad call, but at least they're, it's not as painful to watch. The beauty of this will be if he never builds an infestation pit, which I think is possible. Ah, yes. Now that I've scouted multiple times siege tanks and sensor towers, what we really need is more anti-air. There are battle cruisers on the way, because of course there are. Production tab halfway across the screen. I, I take that back. There are no battle cruisers, just Yamato cannon. Wait, saw the pit. Oh my god, he does build infestors. Which begs the question of like, why? But <laughs> you know what? There it is. He remembers. I'm pretty sure the game ends before the infestors come out, but. We will see. Or maybe they die and he gives up. So, this is why I call it attention deficit, Zerk. Barry remembers literally the only memory is exactly the last units he built. Anything before that, completely and utterly forgotten. Lost to the sands of time. But only the exact last... The game ends in fucking 15 seconds. What the literal last thing to happen in this game will be the infestors coming out doing less than nothing, dying, and him leaving the game. Will there be a GG? We'll see. But that is Attention Deficit Zerg in quite the, the concise nutshell. Oh my god. They, he doesn't even use them. He just looks at them. He lo who does that? He's just like, got these infestors, not going to cut it. GG. Uh, you have the only unit that like takes act. That <laughs> We're building neural parasite. Wow. All right. That was horrible. Shame. That was, I, I mean, we might make it to platinum. Shame. But I, th I don't think that Terran was quite a gold player. A little, not much better. Like, that here was a plant. So, you know what? It's it's a C plus for me. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's definitely, it's a C. It's a, it's a, it could be gold. You might sneak into platinum if you start learning, like, a Zergling rush or enough people randomly leave. But, oh my, that was horrible. Thank you. I used to be plat, but a bit rusty. Ah, yes. That's like saying, you know the Titanic? which has been sunk in the ocean for like 110 years or some shit. Bit rusty. Right. So we're going to bump that to 15% on attention, even now at the Terrans. We've only got three left. Get your replays in. Is $20 to, in this economy? Winter, nobody plays StarCraft. Yeah, they can pretend to. At least Barry sent his in. He eventually figured it out. Barely. Like, we're trying to sell out, not, not, and, but everybody's like, don't watch the boys, though. And I will get paid for that as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. You don't want to see my replay. 
I don't. But I do like money. So subscribe today. All right. So gold TVT. I thought we've seen this. Ah, yes. But this game, one guy makes battle cruisers and the other makes Thors. Wait. Oh, Thank follower. you so much. Sixty-one months. Is that all? Zilbern is chilling for sixty-one months. Have to actually play SC two to have a replay. Here we go again. Good luck and have fun. You're gonna need it. New subscriber detected. Thank you, Square Two. Underscore is chilling for two Yeah, months. we're we're gonna sell out. Hi, we got a hype train coming up. All right, those of you on YouTube, you can just skip past this part, okay? Ah, uh, they're already asleep. Wake up! New subscriber. Detected. For every level of the hype train My we get to, I'll give not one, not months. two, but three subs to the people. Not you, if you subscribe. You've already subbed. Good. Now I have okay. your attention. You Fire won't get anything. Now but you'll be part of something larger than yourself. My bank account. And the community. Uh, the community. Subscribe today. Good. Now I have your attention. Wow. SC318 is now chilling. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm playing Warcraft 3. SCV ready. SCV ready. Who wants some? Ever since K Dong got me so hyped. Alright, K Dong is the sole reason I have any interest in Warcraft 3. And pretty much I only have interest in survival chaos, but still. Command center upgrade complete. Okay. So, for you gold players out there, this is the two out of two so far. Don't steal gas. Worry about your own goddamn gas. Okay? Don't. Just, just don't. Let them take the gas. Then you have more information. Instead of screwing up your own build and uh, making them focus more on theirs. So here we are. This is why we build a Reaper. Because otherwise, if they have a Reaper, then they have more Reapers than you. And a Reaper beats a Marine. Because that's how it is. Good. Thank now you, Grippy. Your attention. Is now or level two. Which is, there are only five levels. Alright. If you get to level five, I'm gonna unlock the secrets of the universe for you. Okay? I'll do it. That'll be the key that unlocks the secrets. We can get to the sacred pyramid where we will open the great Arcanus sign of the tomes. And we look closely into the tomes and we find the ancient texts where the prophecy foretells that Dinor Spesh will gift five subs to the people and bring us to level three. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy how accurate that shit was. Diner underscore Spesh has gifted five subs okay. to viewers. Okay, what's the point of building a bunker if there's nothing to defend? Don't do this. No this is good. not... I have a no, whole low APM guide thing. Like, a Donald solid half of... A solid half the reason I make the guides. I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna say 43% of the reason I make the guides. Average. Is so that way I can be like, hey look, I already made literally hours, which is probably too much. Of things. So that way, you don't come here like, this is my build. This is a good idea. Because it's not. It, it's wrong. You already know more than half of us fall asleep in those guides. Well, that's not my fucking fault. The point is so I can say... Hey, there's this information that is accessible for fucking free. And you chose not to take advantage of it. 
the summary is like TVT has a very particular set of builds. My newest low APM, it is platinum. I'm in platinum. I play a bunch of TVT, a bunch of cheesy ass battle cruiser rushing Terrans. Almost every Terran is a wannabe Kybrid, even Kybrid, who who just continues pretending and gets like his liver will not thank him. But I guess everybody else who pretends like fetishizing hashtag uh, cash money is important. But anyways, I'm a little hypocritical in that. I play in, I don't think it's the, the newest one, but in the one that has a fucking battle cruiser on the thumbnail, it looks like a battle cruiser. You can tell by the way it is. Um, that one, I get battle cruiser rushed or like all in, or I play TVT like four or five times against various cheesy ass Terrans who don't know what the fuck they're doing. And I defend all of them, of course. So there you go, temperature. Add on. Are we supply block? So another important part of having a competent build is not being creative. Uh, part of the reason you don't need these depots and why these are a waste of money is because the command center finishes and that's worth two depots. Well, it's 15 supply, but it's effectively two depots. So you don't need all these depots. You're not actually supply blocked. You just delayed your own build. Partially because the Reaper came in and killed SCVs, which never should have happened in the first place. Thank you for sharing your infinite wisdom. It is not infinite. It is finite and very measurable, though extensive, like many things about me. What the fuck is this shit? This, you see, this is why... All you need to do, th this is, this. <sighs> Please subscribe for my mental health treatment. Because if I have to see some combination of this shit again, I guess it's more fun than the boring, like, diamond supply blocked at 128 supply shit, but... Two star ports on one side, a fusion core on the other. If either player just did a mildly competent tank viking push, they'd win the game. Or just built marines, you know, that's also on the table. Why are we getting the NG bay? We're building two starport. 36 out of 70 supply. Like it we're just nowhere it not <sighs> If you build a fusion core, I'm turning this fucking replay off. But also why are those tech labs? I, I now now an armory, a barrack. What is the plan? What is the build? What is this, a fucking variety pack? This is this a sampler pack right now? Like... Hey, we're gonna go Siege Tank, Marine, Banshee, Raven, Cyclone, Hellbat. I wanted to get Banshee. Okay. Uh, part one. Don't. Don't, don't build Banshees. Those are for co-op. Not even Beyun can make Banshees work. All right, Beyond builds all the units that take way too much micro for too little reward. Um, occasionally they do something, but almost always it's better to have a Viking or a Liberator. Just don't. Okay, how many did I say? I said, all right. Gotta sell out harder. We're working on it. Just, just don't. One, you can build Banshees out of one Starport. Okay? Did you know a Starport costs exactly the same amount of a Banshee? Alright, here's a basic mathematics test. If you build one Starport instead of two, how many Banshees can you build now? One. Correct. Correct. But if you build two Starports... How many Banshees can you build? 
None. Very good. Great job, everyone. The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you. Come on. Winter solved. Where are my new emotes? What's up? Thank you to uh, Steven and uh, um, Steven, who didn't link me anything other than that. But fun fact, if Steven is here right now or watching the rerun of the VOD, shout out. I mean, I paid him for the emotes. Okay, it wasn't like promo, but he, but he actually reached out. He, he made the uh, winter DJ emote, the DJ link. I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. And then he's like, here's five more. I'm like, you know what? Actually, I kind of like them. <laughs> ready. Ready so here we are. Thank you, Steve. Much better than Jimmy. All right, so Banshees are bad. Um, one, even when they're good, they're bad for you because you are gold. You don't get to use Banshees. Banshees are for closers. In co-op. Like, it's even worse than main. Like, mainlings have a place. Banshees don't really have a place. Unfortunately, their place has been mostly overtaken by, like, Liberators and even Battlecruisers. They just... A... Mildly expensive air-to-ground unit just doesn't really find a spot, is the summary. So, yeah, just watch that entire video where I counter... Okay. Okay, so this... This exists... I, I noticed this because I was looking through, like, the playlist because I noticed the playlists on my YouTube are, uh, how do I say, uh, pretty fucked and confusing. So, um... Slim B is back. And he, he's had a TVT versus Mass BC. How did you I don't know how this is going to go. Hi, I play a lot of unranked, and the highest I've been is gold one, but I often find myself playing against bronze and silver. Players, since I play unranked so much, don't like the pressure of ranked. Lol, I use a lot of strategies that are better for higher leagues, and most bronze silver Terrans end up rushing mess BCs because it's the easiest way for them to win. Just check spawning tool. All the builds have a few hundred likes, while the BC Rush build has almost 10,000. I'm aware that Vikings can kite BCs as well as Cyclones, but say you're doing a Marine medevac build and you've advanced a decent army before the opponent chose their BCs, and what is the best way to transition to deal with that? I know, I know, the best way to deal with it is to prevent that from getting there in the first place, but fuck, if that happens, you, what would you say, counterattacks, it's tanks, are useless against BCs, and Marines are only good when BCs are unupgraded, hella turrets don't seem to make much of a difference, especially when they have more than three to four BCs, and most of my SCVs got killed on their way of repairing the turrets. You can make some BCs yourself, but if they have a head start on you, it's almost impossible to mash them. When I see a fusion core, I like to push into the third base to prevent them from having an economy to mass BCs like that. Uh, what time should I start scanning slash scouting for the fusion core? Our Thor is effective. Widow mines can be super effective, but only if the BC runs into them. If you try to reposition them before they get killed, they burrow. If anyone knows of a build that's super defensive against potential mass BC, they'll be super helpful. Or if there's a strategy to deal with them, that'll be super helpful. My main focus is to prevent them from amassing a bunch of BCs. So telling me, just prevent them from getting there isn't helpful. You could include some tips on how to do so. I'm mostly just asking about the cases in which it's too late for that. Thanks a bunch in advance. Slim. Well. Slim. There's a reason we build ravens. Interference matrix. Auto turrets. All you gotta do, lock down the BCs. Lock on with cyclones. There they go. Tactical jump, they jump in, you can't jump out. When you see the fusion core, just give up. I'm sorry. Ravens, Viking, Cyclones. Ravens, Viking, Cyclones. Ravens, Viking, Cyclones. Ravens, Viking, Cyclones. Not in that order necessarily, but if you got upgrades, 
GG. I mean, he's not wrong. I, I don't necessarily agree with the way he uh, posed the, the comment. But, speaking of Ravens, Vikings, Cyclones... We're now building Vikings after the Battlecruiser is in the base. The one thing that does not counter Battlecruisers is Marines, okay? Especially poorly upgraded Marines, but even well upgraded Marines. Uh, either way... I mean, come on. Cyclones are actually the most direct and hard counter, especially if they don't have Yamato. Because armor doesn't affect them and they can outrange the Battlecruiser entirely. But the one thing you don't do is build Marines. Especially not as a reaction. This is why, like, 80% of top tier TVT builds have just the Viking Wars where they reactor out Vikings and essentially never build medivacs because otherwise you'll lose the Viking War. <laughs> because air control is kind of a big fucking deal. So the beauty of this is despite everything that's happened, it is the red player who's building high sec auto tracking. Okay, here's another pro tip. Control groups are used to control groups of your units. That's something we might want to try out. Not just buildings, but also units. The difference here is, is he actually built, um, okay, we've spent the money and that's all the difference. The other Terran has enough to build 50 more supply, but he's just not because he's gold. We eventually, if we just, if you just had a build, okay, a low APM challenge. Look for the big units on the thumbnail. Somebody will link it. You can build more than one armory, by the way. Did you know an armory costs less than plus three ship weapons? You can also build more than one NG bay. Fun thing. Warlock is chilling for 15 months. Hi. I do like how the Vikings got their own control group. They're that important. Okay. One, you have Vikings. Two, is he on one base? Is he? Yes, he is. All right. You don't need to outright kill him, which does seem to be... There you go. Now you don't need to lift your... You have three command centers. Well played, nerd. But that, that it's a good sign that it got better after the early game. Jimmy! Nobody cares about the whitest person I know rapping. Okay? God.
Well, it wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible. It got better, which is a good sign. It's a B. Because eventually you figured out what an actual unit composition is instead of trying to be creative. You picked the wrong race to be creative. All right. Uh, if you want to come up with something to start, well, there's always Protoss. A lot of Zergs try to be creative, and that's also a mistake, but for very different reasons. Mostly reasons that are they're not building queens, which is not particularly uh, complicated. Hmm. We got Mykeru, who is uh, either a diamond Zerg or Terran. They did not specify or provide any additional information. Um, I'm Zerg. Well, there it is. Advanced Platinum. This is barely diamond. <laughs> so we only had the one Protoss today. I'm missing out on the IR chefs. <sighs> I'm not saying drone scouting is bad. I'm saying that most of the people who do it have no idea why. He has a barracks in his base. Donation. I'm terrified of three wrecks. Trap you trap door spider. Okay, so if you're terrified of three wrecks, why not put your second overlord outside the front of your base so you can see? Because you have not necessarily precluded the idea of proxy wrecks, though probably. If you send one, like, 14th of your economy out, you're less equipped to deal with early racks. Your second OV can hang out at your natural area, and you can see SCV's bunkers coming in without sacrificing your economy. But it's not the end of the world. Though the Overlord... Where's the Overlord going? Towards the main. Why? That's a better question. Because we just kind of do that and don't think about it because we never spent any time actually thinking about the maps. Despite the fact that they don't change for like a year at a time. Almost got Overlord speed on time. Ah, Reaper! Okay, didn't panic too hard. The second, okay, this is not where the OVs go. You can literally copy any any higher level game, but it's not the end of the world, but you got two OVs and neither of them are telling you if he's moving out of the base. On this map, you don't have a pervert pillar right next to it. You just put it right there, right there. It's a little further out. All right. That's not that. No. What's the point of putting them at the front if we're not going to wall? It's like, well, it seemed difficult, so I gave up. Ah, yes, the three queen wall. The most reliable. <laughs> Did you just cancel your fucking lair? Oh, you had it? Okay. There's a second lair. Mm 
The Terran's freaking out right now. Though the third base already should have happened a long while ago. But here we are. So this is the kind of strategy. This is the advanced platinum like. But taking a third is scary because then I'd have to move my screen a lot. Yeah, that's how Zerg works. If you don't want to move your screen more than like once a minute, you just go play Mech Terran. But 930 minerals, only 7 larvae. Nothing in production, no drones, no units, no expansion. Like, and it's an impressive amount of minerals to be banking up because you don't even have a third. I'd say it's 6 minutes, no third is definitely a strike. Especially for someone pretending to be diamond. Like, that is just kind of an unacceptable level of of cowardice. Remember, Terrans have mules. They get extra income on two bases. And their buildings can fly, so we could already have a third. Not that we know that, because the Overlord is just hanging out doing nothing. Well, that is five tanks. So, while it's taken a while to get to this stage of realizing, huh, maybe we should have adjusted our decision making along the way, 43 drones is not even remotely fucking close to enough. What the fuck? I mean, that comes with not taking a third, like, like uh, your typical platinum coward. But that is just completely and utterly ridiculous and the beauty of it is you're not even spending the money but the point is you'd rather have the money and not be able to spend it that's a better problem than having no money this is just not nearly enough 43 drones i say 50 drones at seven minutes you're at 43 at eight and a half how many drones have died two two drones why why are there no drones here so we could build a shitty roach timing that isn't even a timing one he has five tanks so any timing that hits after five tanks is not a timing all right that it doesn't work it's not anything it's just incompetent we took two more bases but it i'd rather have a third base at four minutes than a third and a fourth at eight it the third base would have already paid off at that point so this is, like, we're playing like a Wings of Liberty roach push here against a Legacy of the Void Terran. The infestation pit and heading towards Hive is the correct call. But we're making it so goddamn late. Yeah, 44 drones. Oh my god. No, fuck up. What the fuck are you doing? Where are you going? It's like, I bet he doesn't have any more siege tanks. If you had six bases and 80 drones, I'd say, you know what? Okay, fine. Kill some tanks. No. We're at 55 drones. No hive. Barely any larva. This is not a replaceable army. This is not a roguelike. Or even a roguelite. Rogue? He throws these army, armies away because he has another twice the size in the bank. But this is just... This seems like a, I have a square peg and I'm gonna find a hole. Well, looks like you're, you're gonna end up fucking yourself at this stage. Sequences yeah, the correct answer... So... I usually say the difference between Platinum, Diamond, and Masters, but this is like the, the Twilight Zone between Platinum and Diamond. The difference between Platinum, Diamond, and Masters for Zerg is the Platinum player will lose their entire army and then get the tech they need. The Diamond player will get the tech they need and then lose their entire army before they have it. And the Masters player will not lose their army and they'll just get their tech. What do I mean? You're on four bases. 
Ostensibly. You could have kept him to three. You could get vipers while still having a large enough army that he's scared to move out. But what did we do? We threw that entire advantage directly into an unknown amount of siege tanks because I don't know. I Literally, I have no fucking idea. It's like, well, I, I started attacking. The blood pact has been sealed and we must continue. Who would have thought he just had more tanks? I know, it sounds crazy. We took... So, even though there was no advantage, the Terran doesn't know that. When, when the Terran sees 50 roaches and ravagers, that's a bit scary. Alright, a lot of Terrans will be like, oh, wait a second. Alright, I can't really move out, we'll take a little longer. But when they kill 50 roaches and ravagers, well, guess what? They do whatever the fuck they want. So we got a hive. Alright. That was convenient. If you don't back off immediately, I am turning this replay off. There, there is some hope. If that attack had continued, I would have given up. Ultras? No. Siege tanks and widow mines. The only thing that counters ultras harder is a small gap between your buildings. Depleted. Brood lords. By the way. Or just Roach Ravager with a bunch of Vipers. But, and also there's like a dozen Widow Mines in case. I, I'm sure we'll learn that eventually. But. Yeah, th these are unupgraded. I, I guess Carapace, but... Ultras are one of the best ways to get rid of any money you might have. This is a horrible idea. It's like... I, I want to preface this because they seem pretty excited to send this in. So that means these are probably wins. I'm not 100%. It is not a guarantee. But, um, that's not, the, the point at the end of the day is this is by far, this is a horrible call. And just because it works just means you were slightly better, not good. Just because it... it just because it works doesn't mean it's not stupid. We've been over this. Just keep going, don't worry. We did make it. Yeah, the, the Terran is flailing. I guess we are in the roguelike phase, which is, so why couldn't, there was no reason we couldn't have just shot up to 75 drones and six bases. The only reason was your firmly ingrained existential dread. Just the existence of a Terran kept you off a third or a fourth or a fifth base. There was no pressure. There was no hara- There were six Hellions. You had five Queens. There was no reason we couldn't have been in this position five minutes quicker. Just your cowardice held you back. Also, maybe don't upgrade on the engineering base. Your vipers, not engineering base, sorry. Evolution chambers, your vipers are eating. Anywhere else. Any, uh, like you already had, we have evos at home. Oh my God. Mineral field but as soon as you see the Liberators, especially if you're on such a uh, ridiculously wealthy economy, which I'm surprised we made it here. Though this is kind of the trend for a lot of players. This is why I say I'd rather have a player who hasn't played at all than a player who's played like, they played 10 years, they give me, played like five, 10 years ago. You played some years ago. You weren't very good. 
then you found my videos, or maybe somebody slightly less competent videos or guides, and you learned something. But the all the ingrained habits, and tell me how close I am, Mr. Mike, Mike Carew, or Mrs., or whatever. Uh, and, and so you have all the ideas in the later game. You know where you're supposed to be, but all those ingrained habits and the stress of the early game are still so prevalent that you forget it. You get into the game and anxiety, adrenaline, panic, forgetfulness. Uh, and then eventually the game goes on and on and you can't help but remember actually competent things. And this is why sometimes we see those low APM players who are like, I started playing for the first time. I have 68 APM and I maxed out with Roach Hydra 2-2 and Vipers at 10 minutes. It's like, wow, yeah, you didn't fuck yourself over in what is effectively your childhood in StarCraft 2. It's the bad habits you created, however, X many years ago, coming back and affecting essentially every early game. And there's no easy solution to that. I, I haven't figured out how to fix that. I know what to do. I know how to say it, but like, that it takes an active effort after learning those habits. Okay, so step one, have the Vipers on a separate control group. Complete. Step two, have the rest of your army on a control group, so that way when you select an army hotkey, you don't have to out-micro yourself controlling your goddamn Vipers. And... Here it is. Notice every time you hit the select all army hotkey how you have to go back and micro your vipers. If only there were some solution to that, like hotkeying the rest of your army. Blinding Cloud doesn't work on 75 liberators, by the way. So part of the point of this was you're just babysitting your vipers, which is important. The other point is, what the fuck? All right, so let's take a look. This is the, how fast? Supply lost per second. You're at 179 supply. This guy is sieging up an entire Omaha beach of liberators right now. Parasitic Bomb does not kill Liberators. It does about 60, it does 120 damage. They have 180 health. And it also doesn't do the damage instantly. These are all important things. Also, in fact, we didn't use any Parasitic Bombs. It was literally just Blinding Clouds. The real danger here is not the tanks. It is the Liberators. I mean, the tanks are definitely not... not uh, okay, the real danger is both. The summary is, what the fuck? Mineral field. <sighs> so you built... So what happens is you lost... Your entire army of Hydras and Ultras to Liberators and Tanks. And you're like, you know what? How about Hydras and Ultras? Exhausted. The Spire should have been built when you saw the first Liberator. That's the summary. At least you finished your upgrades before sucking off your Evo Chamber to death. That was a pretty good blinding clown. No, no, no. In what fucking world? He's playing World of Tanks. You're playing Starship Troopers and you're not the protagonist. Like, no. Where are you going? Look at this. His, his tank spread is uh, like, this should be on the box. Look at this! You put this on the fucking box art!
That no. Brood lords, corruptors. You have to go like he has the ultimate siege death ball. Oh my god! Look at so you. You're kind of he. He's forced your hand. You did not get enough economy to break him like this earlier. Rogue has lost Donation games confirmed. in a similar way. Rogue loses games because he's like, ah, oh, fuck it. Ten more ultras. Let's go. Like, now, of course, his opponents are a little more competent. But this is how Rogue loses as well. Even with a ridiculous economy. This ain't it. Oh my god. The units lost are a little closer than I thought it would be at this stage. Oh my god. I do like how the queen diligently chased them down as well. The amount of times you keep having to just control group the rest of your army. Use the steel keys. Why do you have a hot key for your infestation pit? One, in the first place. Two, just put your army on the key. Here's what I do. Here's your pro tip. I say this every time, but use just default steel keys. I've replaced... All of my control groups with steel control groups. What does that mean? All right. That means it, when I hit control one on a set of units, say Vipers, control three for you, it removes those units from another control group and puts them on that. There's almost no scenario you want them to overlap that doesn't screw you over. So how does that work? Here. Box all this. Control four. And then you hit the vipers. Control three. They're removed from that group in their own group. Boom, boom. There you go. Instead of having to fucking select all army and then corral your vipers every single time you want to go anywhere. That's, that's all before realizing that when if somebody is making nine liberators at a time, you probably should have went Spire several games ago. How do I switch to steel control groups? Well, you start at rust, and then you work your way up. Did you just fly your vipers into turrets, and they all died because of exactly all of the reasons I just described? Okay, so queens are good. Brad! But Well, this is gonna go horribly Did it work? You know, I'm a, I'm very annoyed it worked even though I know how good. Oh my god. Well, what are you gonna do turn around with the Queens? Okay, well, it didn't actually work. It worked for a bit, and then... We stopped fucking around. Oh, that was enough to get the Spire started? At this point, we realized, you know, a Spire might have been a good idea? Wow. I guess better late than never. We made it. <laughs> that, of all things... I actually didn't think I got it. That's all right. You're a platinum zerg. You could have stopped at any point in that sentence. Creep tumor. You should have stopped at um. Let let's. I love to watch art. All right. Who doesn't love art?
Don't worry. You need a light? So, that's not how you do that. It is a C plus. If you could somehow chop out the part of your brain that played too many games so terribly in the first five minutes, and replace it with nothing, like a blank slate. Not even like the same person who figured out how to build four bases. No, just a complete noob. It would be better. Because you eventually got there. But the first five, ten minutes were just a demonstration of all the mistakes you've made over the years before you actually learned how to play. And those mistakes over the years. Well, they still show up. I didn't get struck out. I did want to see pretty much. I expected eventually a huge battle where the entire Zerg army died horribly and cinematically. So. Here we are. We got in order. Um, that was we got absolute Henny, who sent in a two v two. We got Gino, who played against Vibe. You got Grippy. Um, Trapdoor, Spider, and ASD. Those are the five. And we will be continuing after this quick advertising break. Hey, everybody! I'm Winsor, and I'm here to talk to you about... Prime Gaming! Did you know if you have Amazon Prime, you can get Prime Gaming? And also, you can have Prime Video to watch the boys. Amazon is paying me to do a watch party of the boys live on stream. Though I don't think anyone here can watch because it's filled with mature content. And that pretty much disqualifies the entirety of Twitch chat. But I won't tell if you won't, even if your mother asks so nicely. So, but wait... There's more! Did you know that every month with Prime Gaming, you can subscribe right here for free? Wow! Prime Gaming, take that money out of Jeff Bezos' pocket and put it, put it in my, a ridiculously order of magnitude, smaller pocket with Prime Gaming. You can get free loot for all the shitty-ass mobile games or wannabe mobile games like Player Unknowns Battlegrounds Battlegrounds or fucking Call of Duty or Call of Duty Lights Battlefield 20 uh, who gives a shit anyways but wait there's more subscribe for free to me yes me don't even think about it don't think just do it subscribe today with Prime Gaming because every moment you wait you're losing money for me so subscribe with Prime Gaming because remember we here at Amazon Prime we here at Amazon Prime. We know where you live. You told us. Good luck. And good night.
Thank you guys for sticking around. I know ads are loud and annoying, but... Mm. Oh, a follower. So, this is a, t a Terran Zerg versus Terran Zerg. Chilling for eight months. Scuds. Thank you, Kalumu. How long until the first battle cruisers? If Twitch chat is correct, no spoilers. Uh, if Twitch chat is correct, I will give three subs to the people so generously. But make sure to subscribe. Uh, and then I'll be right back. When Jimmy, just load it up, and then we'll be ready. You got. I actually do have five more. Right now, so, thank you for watching. Anyone else feel like Winter should change his Twitch profile pic to not be smiling when he does angry coaching? You really think that people can't be angry while they're smiling? 
Is it that difficult for you to imagine? Uh, just such a contradiction. I need to, like, I'm, since I don't have object permanence, or I've, I've not really developed in any way socially, I have to stare at someone's face in order to tell how they're feeling. Five to ten minutes. Safe enough estimate. Maybe it was just for the meme, bro. For the memes. Ah, yes. Nope. I hadn't considered the memes. That's my bad. I do retract my previous statement. Now I have your attention. Kind of class class. Is chilling for 14 months. Low nice. SCB ready. SCB so ready. 2v2 is already. I mean, Condition. I've been playing some 2v2s. They're fun. And this is one of the like actual 2v2 maps, but I guess it'd be a little hypocritical not to judge it on that, right, with how much 2v2 I've been playing. Command center up. Our SCP is under attack. What is this? Another Rex of Factory? It is Terran Zerg. Problem is when you have a Zerg teammate, you don't really want a wall. Is this this kind of a half-ass mind drop timing here? It's like, oh yeah, mind drops. You're building. You know what? I don't know why I'm in a good mood. Uh, I mean, I've been liking two v two. But you're building us CVs. Can't say much else, reliably. But building us CVs. That's most of it. Those filthy mind drops. And looked away from the mind drops, despite how juicy those hits were. Six kills, four kills. Good enough. Where are the NG base? Ah. I think that probably should be a planetary. In 2v2. I mean, you're building SCVs. Kind of forgot those upgrades, though. Remember when you got the NG base? That is kind of a huge deal to be forgetting. Because there's no reason they couldn't have started. We're looking at the blue, not the light blue, Terran. I keep confusing myself. Oh, wait. We didn't. I take it back. One one's already done. Also, Twitch chat was wrong. Not a single battle cruiser by 10 minutes. Not even a hint of a battle cruiser. What is happening? In fact, I think battle cruisers are probably, especially with a Zerg teammate, the better option, but. Using your teammate as cover to get BCs and win the game. It's like uh, almost a. All right, well, and this is where it slips. This is the most important time to be building units, to be focusing on production. And this is the time when it's slipping. How many racks? There are six racks. 
Zero marines in production. We're microing! Wait, is that a planetary next to? Wow. Just queue up units. Just queue up a dozen marines. Whatever. It's better than not building any at all. Honestly, we could probably use team colors because they're not the same race. It's breaking my brain looking at blue versus light blue. Medivac. You gotta build more medivacs for your teammate. I know, you're probably thinking you're about to win the game, but the one way to not win the game is by stopping unit production. We're getting carried away again! Thankfully the Zerg steps in. I mean, that was the most boring game of the night, but that was... What was that supposed to be? Diamond... Uh, plat diamond-ish, but that's like 2v2 ranks kind of thing. Uh, we'll give it- we'll give it a B. It's a B in there. Kind of hard to judge. It's fine. It's not super exciting. It's pretty competent. The mind drop was a little weird after the early game, but it's 2v2. I still think battle cruisers are the better option, like, unironically. Ultra Corruptor Medivac. I wouldn't play too much. Like, I don't play too much in the fact it's 2v2. Really, the cover is like, the, the Zerg doesn't have to focus on anti-air because the Terran can help. But especially if you're playing with rando teammates. Alright. So now we have Vibe doing a 10 minute no rush. So this just says, versus Vibe. Um, but I am 95% sure Vibe is doing a no army challenge. Because Vibe does not make any units. He has zero army value until 10 minutes. So... Has 153 SCVs. So here we are. Um, let us see Vibe with... I don't know, there was no other description. It just says versus Vibe. There's no extra description from Gino here. Like, 10 minute, no rush, or, or workers only. It just... There's a non... There's like a non-zero... I love you! It is a custom game as well so that is like this isn't a ladder match um i redeemed a fun show match oh did, does he actually do that wow what a crazy idea mm -hmm. so he's like scvs that's the ticket So there's no other restrictions on this. I think we're both assuming, like Vibe's assuming you're not gonna... Knowing the people I play in viewer games, what'll happen? I, I was just thinking about the idea. Based on my relatively light experiences recently with viewer games, people would redeem it, be like, here's a fun show match, and then proxy racks me. 
but <laughs> at least a nice honorable macro game here. So, all right. Notice how Vibe is at 77 SCVs. You're a Zerg player. Also, based on the fact you could see several command centers, I don't think we're necessarily judging this based on the the coaching aspect. But if a Terran can have 77 SCVs, you shouldn't be too far behind. As a Zerg. It's not horrible. Evolution. Yeah, the mini map is the. Uh, Your forces have been yeah. The, the mini map is quite a thing. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Completely mined out of mineral fields. Also, the bitchy girlfriend of announcers. I don't. I gotta say, Nova. Both the tone and the lines. I think Vorazun's line. Not uh, as as an educated and uh, someone with direct experience of the process going into making like the voice packs and stuff. Nova's both sound and and actually are phoned in. Maybe that's Nova's vibe though. I guess puns intended. Half of them are copy pasted directly. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Grippy now Sketchy Kitty. Grippy TV is chilling for 14 months. So. <laughs> Your brood has found something. Okay, so. Your forces have encountered the enemy. I I do appreciate the microing of the. I'm not sure wh where we're going with this, because the Hydras... I mean, this is the map. So, for re for those of you wondering how much you can get done in 11 minutes, um, there's a lot you can get done in 11 minutes in StarCraft 2. Uh, if you set your mind to it. I like Nova because she's not distracting. Why not Abathur? Abathur does have some cheeky comments like construct additional supply depots. Overlord superior. Really? Your brood has found something to chew on. Your forces have encountered the enemy. Nothing left in that mineral cluster. Looks like So, Vibe, this I assume this was redeemed for channel points and not money. So you're paying me, Biddies, to watch this. Do you want me to remind you that, like, Broodlords and Vipers exist, or just enjoy? No, no, no. It's it's vibes guides that are like just a few more hydras. All right. Maybe maybe we build seventy eight hydras. That'll do it. That's a, that's a missile target. All right. 
Nothing left of that. Mineral field depleted. The beauty of StarCraft 2 is you start with the same amount of SCVs as Maru. You start with the same amount of, of drones as Serum. You start with the same amount of probes as Zest. But it doesn't take long before the disparity becomes somewhat clear. Cyril builds his drones one larva at a time like any other Zerg. Our base is under attack. Our base is under attack. Forces have encountered the enemy. Cheryl's larvae are extra wet and juicy and moist. I have no further commentary, I just wanted to say that one out loud. Someone's stomping on your drones. Is that better? Forces have encountered the enemy. Our base is under attack. I don't see the dot. Do you see the dot? This is a base trade, yes, in the sense that one player has a base and the other has 25. So... How did I do for gold? Enemies taking out You did good. You did you got to two hundred supply pretty quick. Creature. Your brood has found something to chew on. I will get like It wasn't it wasn't horrible with the just sitting back and macroing. Of course, there are better ways to go about dealing with a few dozen planetary fortresses, but... It's Terran is smurfing. So it's pretty easy to tell who hasn't been paying any attention or looking at the screen or listening to anything anyone is saying. It's like... It seems like a weird amount of command centers. It wasn't horrible. It's a, it's very incredibly difficult to judge, but it's like a B for, for gold. That's a like, it's hard to tell because obviously you know what you're up against, so you're not playing normally. It's hard to tell because like you go on the ladder, you're like, I think I can win this game. And that actually hurts a lot of people. Um, now some people, Play very different if they think they're gonna get crushed anyways but some people and i think you're one of them are like well have fun with it which is an advantage all right we have we're getting down to it we got grippy i've started to get better at 1v1 though i don't know which player you are. That information was not provided. Silver League. Terran or Protoss. I'm gonna guess Terran. 
Um, that's my guess, but we'll see. Also, actually, it looks like gold. I take it back. I am the Terran, so you're not the... the I didn't want to, like, stereotype, but the Zerg's name is Suicidio, which I don't speak Spanish. Or, but... Moving on. <laughs> Okay. How was there a timing? Good luck, have fun, and uh, where? Beat them, probably. Okay, so you build the second SCV, and then you build the depot. Close. Oh, very close. It's not the first thing you do, it's the second thing you do. So far? So you said you played a lot of 2v2. So far? I'm not seeing... And there, there's a potential for a lot of bad habits. I'm saying now, besides that little SCV detail, it's fine. Scout without freaking out. No Reaper. That's a plus. Orbital. SCVs. Second Depot. Reactor positioning. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> oh, there are bad habits. Just wait. Yeah, like building a second barracks, like you're going to go for bio. That's... And I bet you're going to slap down a factory now. Like, this is a real build and I'm good at it. Alright, and the SCV is attacking. Oh no. The Marine. Uh, nope. Oh no. Okay, it's an Overlord. Um. Oh, they're very threatening creatures. They just hang there menacingly. <laughs> ah! Looking right at me. Hello. <laughs> oh! Honestly, he earned that. That, that lackadaisical overlord Mike. He earned, he earned that. Lol. I'll give him that. Uh, throw it back. You got the OV. By the way, the STV has done a non-negligible amount of damage to the hatchery. Shouldn't be there, but <laughs> amusingly, Throughout all this, we finished that add-on. Remember, he's a platinum zerg. Wait, no, he's not. He's not even platinum. He's gold, which means he's typing. He's supply blocked because he lost the overlord he was bragging about. His queen is late, and he has no overlords in production. So, just when you're thinking about your opponents in the silver and gold league, remember, right now that this is your average opponent. Anyone who even knows the fucking emojis is already a solid Metal League player. How you know you got a true Metal League player is when they use the uh, emoji GLHF. Alright, that's, that's the ultimate tell. If you're like, I feel called out, you should. You should. That was the intent. We finished that SCV ready. So. SCV ready. So, where, where are these Marines going? So what is, what is the thought process here?
with the with these marines. Were they even called emojis in 2010? Okay, Zoomer. Don't think you invented fucking emojis. We had emojis in the 90s. I mean, I, I, I'm told I didn't. We didn't have internet until like. But I'm just checking the tower with all of your marines. They don't go out. This is out. This is out. That's like saying I just walked down to the corner store and checked to see if they had any of my favorite whiskey. I didn't go out. It's like that's not going out. Is you are out. I know you don't actually have a wall, but you are out right now. What? And what if he has something at the tower? What if he sees this? What if he has twenty zerglings? You're out now. This is out. But if they split up in the haunted house, they die. Yes, but one at a time, which is the point. That's why you send one, maybe two. Not all of them. It's not like I think there's a likelihood that these are going to get surrounded and killed. But don't you think it kind of doesn't really jive? I'm trying to use your language. It doesn't really jive with the whole game plan of putting together a medevac push. If you risk... A hundred percent. This is all of your marines. You're not building any fucking marines. This is all of the marines. Right now. I felt safe because I left the mines. It's not about the mines. It's about the marines. <laughs> Where are you going? One of you must... One of you... <laughs> no, just... Mission accomplished! Alright, fuck. Alright, everyone. Pack it up. I, I, we've done... It's all there. Alright. Alright. Uh, our work here is done. We've gotten everything we needed. Jimmy! <sighs> we, we scouted that tower. All right. Great job, everyone. We did it. <laughs> Nothing at the tower. All clear. All clear. We can cut, bring, it, bring our boys home. Great job, everyone. All right. We got, we got to the tower. We got out. And we got everything we wanted. The Zerg will not be troubling us again. Add on complete. You know what they say, fool me once. And I won't be fooled again. FDB ready. Finished learning. Ready for we got the mines. Off. Gameway, uh, I felt safe. And, and those are those are house mines. Okay, those stay at home. They don't come with us. <laughs> Factory units are for defense. That's a house tank. All right. So, you are playing like a bronze league hero. Like this is the this is when you get someone who has mostly just watched one v one. And combine them with someone who just started, like, y you do, you know you're supposed to go out with the medevacs and marines. But all the rest of the things that, like, are not so obvious. The house tanks, the, the mines. I think on paper you know this isn't the highest level play. And it's not even a bad play. Like, it's not even bad. 
It's just... It's... Bless your heart. I got 16 marines, I got two medevacs, I got a third CC on the way, and you know what? It's only six minutes, which actually isn't even that late for this. Like, it's it's barely a minute past your usual 16, like, and with all that, you know what? It's not, you get the Lavender Star of Macro. All right, the coveted Lavender Star of Macro. Congratulations. And, and of course, now what we're going to do is, uh, that has earned us our marine micro time, as you know. All right, here we go. Well, building some SCVs. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, well, close enough. Oh, going up. Shit, that's a base. Yeah, he's trying. That's a house tank. You know, it's not horrible. I mean, obviously, we'd, we'd want to see upgrades, uh, a little more production, like... But, I, it, at least there is an attempt made. This goes horribly. This was a resounding success. He had no drones at his third. And even though he has a fourth, what is the drone count, you think, right now? Do you feel ahead, my Terran friend? The upgrades? Yeah, you don't have the upgrades. Do you feel like you're ahead? Or do you feel like the Zerg is way ahead? He has so many links. He's got four bases. That's the worker count. You're winning. You've got your production. If you had your upgrades started, you got in and you actually picked up the Marines and left. You fucked off. This makes you better than most diamond players. You have now reached a level that most diamond players can only aspire to, which is stopping the drop. You can start it, but rarely do people stop it. <laughs> so, hold on to that. Upgrades are a big issue, though. The upgrades are a big problem. Your we finish that yeah, the upgrades are a layup that we're not. We're just, it's a free throw. Mineral field to Sports! Completed. It's an extra point. Fucking penalty shot. No, not that one. That one doesn't really make sense. Um. Additional supply depots are required. Our play. No, that, not really. More shoebox depot thingy. Okay, so any upgrades. As you can see here, few and far between in the gold league. I do like how many times we've hovered over the NG base. And kind of like... That was... I mean, obviously we're not macro, but that was... A, quite a competent split. Like... <laughs> that was a weirdly... And that didn't look accidental. Like... Yeah, the A move passed. More Banelings. Not freaking out with the entire army. That was maybe a bit much, but like... Now if you could do that and build any units while it's happening. I control click the marine, so there you go. Streets ahead. Like, that was a solid trade. Look at the units lost. Now imagine if you had a four upgrade advantage like you could have. The upgrade is done. Yeah, spending quotient on SC2 replay stats, it's kind of, it's not out of a hundred, even though, like, but it's generally, if the number goes up, you're spending your money more efficiently. It measures how 
consistently you're using your production, how low your unspent resources are, how little you're queuing up units as well. Essentially, it's a, a general way of tracking if you're improving at spending your money. You can compare it to like like the top players of like 150. Um, a lot of high level players have triple digits. Like we can look at this game, for example. It used to be like a hundred in the spending closure. I'm not even sure if the math we're using on it changed, but it has never been super easy to understand to be honest. But that is the general. Like, if it goes up over time, that's good. Finished learning. The minerals. Research complete. We've mineral field completed. Upgrade complete. All right. So 200 supply is the max. You know that. But I need to reiterate. 200 is the maximum supply. Not 169. Not 196. 200! That's the number! You're now falling into a trap that almost every Terran especially, but every player does. It's like, alright, I've got my army. It's fighting time. No, that's not 200. You have 4,000 minerals. Fucking hold down the siege tank button or some shit. Alright? I got it. Literally zero units in production. The beauty of it is you're not even supply blocked. Like some, it usually happens because players get supply blocked. Sometimes a hundred something supply. But this is just straight up like, I'm not building anything. Wow, that was actually really good. Yeah, the main links connect at the end, but. That was a solid, that. We are not falling into the trap of, like, trying to stutter step the whole army. Now imagine if you were building anything during that entire time. Not a turn-based strategy. We finished that mineral field depleted. on Vespine Geyser. Ready. Mineral field depleted. 200! Alright, there we go. And now that should be the win. 200. Notice, not coincidentally, you're gonna win the game at 200 supply. Yeah, that's not... Mineral field depleted. That isn't just a happy little accident. Like, that is literally your maximum power. I love the macro hatches. Hello, Winter. Your emo game in chat is weak, son. You got nothing. No Giga Chad, no Pog you. Sup with that. Need some coaching and up-to-date Twitch chat emotes? Only 20 bucks. You can find my link below. I am willing to accept coaching. Send me 20 bucks. I'm looking forward to it. Can I get a Poggers in the chat? The minerals have up and gone. Ready for that job. Or winter pong at least. And they're out of here. A minus. For gold. Not a turn-based game. Upgrades exist. Also, no more marine scouting parties. <laughs> that, like, it was so solid. It's actually going to remove 5% from the Terran. I'm way too generous with these. Congratulations, Terrans. Lucky you. We have two more. We got Trapdoor Spider, who is an advanced Platinum Zerg. And then we have ASD, 
who is a silver Protos to wrap things up. And then I want to warn you, because afterwards, essentially immediately afterwards, because I get paid for the amount of viewers pretty much past a certain point, and since not everyone's going to watch, we're watching The Boys, which is uh, superheroes. Uh, just a good old fan. Everybody loves superheroes. It's a, it's a show. It is for mature audiences because it's really philosophical. Um, it really looks at the... Um, not just the outside, the surface level perspective, but also the inside level of many human beings, which is... Yeah, not for everyone, but... Uh, so, we will be doing a sponsored watch party of that, because Amazon's fucking paying me for it. So, even if you don't have Amazon Prime, um, just keep the stream open, if you, because that'd be sick. Uh, I know, like, only if you have Amazon Prime you can watch it. I press a button, it starts the watch party. We did it with The Expanse, the other show on Amazon Prime. Um... But, uh, so yeah, getting paid for it, sure. It is, by the way, spoilers. It's going to be the last episode, season three, episode three. Uh, so if you're not up to date, well, this is your opportunity, assuming you have watched the other episodes of the season. If you haven't, then it is a spoiler, yes. So, uh, just FYI. Yeah, I, I'm pretty... So what you can do, if you don't have Amazon Prime, what happens is I end up in a little corner, like a reaction video. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, where the chat... Like, part of where the chat is. So, um... And then there's just a black screen. But you can make it a full screen of my face, if you'd like. Uh... Yeah. Don't let, I mean. But the idea is we're gonna, one, once we finish up the next replay, assuming that's the last one, we're gonna jump right into that so I can maximize um, those Amazon dollars. And by jump right, I mean like two minutes. But, no. This is your pre warning. PVZ. This is the first PVZ we've had tonight. This is Advanced Platinum, so it's like Diamond. It's at Season 3, Episode 5. It is Episode 3 that we're watching. I don't know which one we're on. It's Episode 3, so... Some of the violence is excessive, and the sexual content is a little disturbing. A little. And a little excessive. Yes, those are, those are words. Detected. You thought chivalry was bad. Was chilling for 18 months. Bezos bucks. Hmm. Yes, this is, by the way, very, very... Your actual real talk is very mature content warning. Even more than any of the games, by far, by a lot. In case, like, I thought, the reason I didn't watch the boys, and yes, I'm not giving Trapdoor Spider his due diligence, but he hasn't fucked anything up yet. His first overlord's in the right spot, Zergling speed is on the way, actually took a third, isn't banking money, we're fine. Um, what was I saying, though? I didn't watch it for a couple seasons, because I thought, like, it was a Marvel knockoff. And it is. But not exactly how I expected at all. And then I'm like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> so I, I had avoided the first couple seasons until they're already out. No, it's a, it's a, it's a good old-fashioned superhero romp. And then so. So why are we getting the second guess? In the main, as well. Mr. Spider. I 
I got a lot of gas. Getting even more gas. There's the bear. This seems like, uh, we've gotten this far, overall, but, in general, where, where's the void ray? Okay, this wall off. Your opponent's name is Mike, as well, so don't, don't expect some mind-blowing meta. He, he, he's a, they're like profile name, he's like, Mike. His real name is Dave, though, so, feeling crazy. I just kind of get second at this time. So the best reason to get a second guess is not because that's kind of what I do. So 30 to 40 drones is usually when you get that second guess. But ideally you have some sort of reason for it. Otherwise it's just hurting your mineral count, which you can use to build more queens. And apparently crash my SC2. What the fuck? What a random time. What? I have no idea. See what you've done. Donation. You ruined everything. Pack one F one ST just donated twenty dollars. Thank, thanks. Three me versus diamond booty milk. I didn't even get an error message. Did you, what did you just say? Um, let's see. I was so disgusted at that. Uh, at the second guess. I don't even remember what I was talking about. We're gonna have to go back. I was just was just trying to angry code that replay. I did it wrong. Yes, it is a disaster. Uh, SC2 load. Why do we even bother with SSD? Well, the summary is, if you're going to get a second gas, get it at the natural, because what does every fucking Protoss do? They build Void Race. And especially on a map where you have two gases right out, hanging out at the edge of your main base, those gases are going to get melted by Void Race. Happens every other fucking game. So just get it at the natural, so one, it's not so easy to scout, and two, it doesn't just die when he decides to make the inevitable thing which every goddamn Protoss makes, which is Void Rift. That's part of it. It's not just the second guess, it's also the positioning of the second guess. Also, your main base is not somewhere you want to have li uh, liabilities, because your main base mines out first, which means ten minutes in the game when your main base is out of minerals and most of the way out of gas, you don't want to be coming back and defending it. It's, I mean, that doesn't mean you don't take the gas, it's just not necessarily the first priority. Alright, we made it. I have no fucking idea. That was super weird, though. Amazon heard me talking shit. I, I don't know what they'd have to do with this. Like... <laughs> just, I don't know. I see, I usually put all my tech in the main. And how does that work out for you? It's two-thirds of the time, it's perfectly fine. The other third of the time, I lose the game. Alright, so there's a void, right? We're building more roaches, so you're gonna do something with those roaches? Is there a correct place? I like to put it at the natural. Harder to scout, easier to defend. What I don't like to do is put everything on the edge of your main where it's begging to be sniped by 
I don't know, warp prism charge lots, void rays, carriers. Not that any of those three things are dangerous or common. What the fuck? Is my SC2? What the fuck? Jimmy! I... I'm not even getting an error message. What is this conspiracy? The fuck? It's... But we keep getting further in the replay. Each time. If it happens again, I'm just going to judge entirely based off of S2 replay stats. So weird. <laughs> See, you eventually barely beat carriers, don't you, Trapdoor Spider? Based on... Yeah, my SC2 just keeps crashing, which is super weird. S2 is a new game, a lot of bugs. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm hearing. Oh my god. I tried to load it up this time. It just said no. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to try to coach just based on this. You see, I've gotten lazy. I've started doing cameo. No more of that, like, actually going to... Any so, we get into the game. The Protoss ends up going for all of the good units and nothing else. The Protoss army here. Uh, I'm going to move my face a bit. The Protoss army here is literally fucking two carriers, two colossi, two immortals, and four void rays. So, <clears throat> what is the counter to that if you're already going Hydras? It's essentially Hydra, Lurker, Viper, um, and then eventually Corruptor Broodlord. So where do we go? We got more Hydras, 92 drones. 20 Corruptors, and, and he is continuing. I mean, Colossus Carrier. There you go. And then we fight, and since he doesn't actually... He has a few Archons, but loses all the Carriers. You lost all your Hydras, because Hydras fucking suck. Alright, and then we need to go Brood Lords. There you go, 24. Okay, that's too many Broods. 24 is too fucking many. 12, like, if you can do it with... If you need to, if you think you need 24, ask yourself if 12 will get it done. All right. That is that now. <laughs> I. 24 broodlords is too many broods. Like. Like 15 broodlords and a few vipers. Jesus Christ. So the game at this stage is 9 Dark Templar, 89 probes versus 21 broodlords. And that's about it. Um, it does look, oh, and then somehow the Void Rays are saving the day. Nine Vipers. Nine Vipers. Okay. So it does look like you close it out. That was probably too many Broodlords. Uh, but it does seem like you had the general gist. The unspent... Hydras are, like, you build Hydras, though, in the first place. Like, that is, in my opinion, did the did you end up building Hydras? Were Hydras the long-term option? Or could you just have skipped straight to the Spire with Roaches? That's, I mean, only you apparently can answer that question, as the replay is hidden from sight. But, um... Overall, you did have 40 less APM and half the screens per minute. So this definitely was a game that you could have just skipped essentially to Roach Corruptor. The time you can't go Roach Corruptor uh, as reliably is if they're really heavy on the ground army. Like they go Mass Stalker, uh, Disruptor, like the hero style. But he was not doing the hero style. He was only making the good units. So the high, you have to think about like what are these Hydras actually supposed to do? Because they're very expensive and they slow down the rest of your tech. Otherwise, judging just based on all that, it is, uh, it's like a B. Because you did, like, your reaction was not to try to kill him. It was instead to uh, uh, attempt to actually macro it out, so.
So now we'll try another replay and see if it's just Trapdoor Spider installing a fucking virus onto my uh, mainframe. Or if my SC2 is broken. I'm ASD. All right. So you're. So this is the other type of player. Like I need to type in my name. Whoop. <laughs> Silver Protos. And then, yes, Killer Pacifist. We'll get there. Assuming my SC2 doesn't break. It told me my opponent was Masters. Was that a glitch? Yes, it's a glitch. It is an issue that has happened. The only thing that matters... The beauty of when your opponent has a Masters border, you can actually see their MMR to start. Because only Masters players have their MMR shown at the start of the screen. Because at some point the decision made was that everyone below Masters is too big of a bitch to see that. But the amusing part is because these players are accidentally placed in the Masters, you can actually see their MMR is not Masters. It does fuck things up, but it is it is still you're facing a silver player um, or something along those lines. Why does it do that? We don't fucking know. Bobby the intern has not been very talkative lately, so. Let's not wall off Reapers. One, you're probably going to do it wrong. Two, not worth it. You're not playing against, like, Clem. And also, yeah, that well, that's fucking wrong. Um... Correct. I panicked. You panicked into walling off Reaper. Remember the pylon, efficiency, and necessary infrastructure safety. All right. That means building your pylons in the right spot at the right time for the right reasons, which you have not done in any way, shape, or form. This, I don't even, I'm not 100% if that walls off Reapers, and even if it does... There is no reason to have a second pylon at this time. It's just a general disaster. You're wasting money. You're delaying the rest of the build. Where's your gas? What's the point? No, no, no. Okay, worry about yourself. Worry about your goddamn self. Yeah. All right. Jimmy! <laughs> Fourteen pylon, sixteen pro. That's not the one. Build a gate, scout. 14 pylon, 16 pro. Chrono boost, build a gate, scout with the pro. 17 assimilator, two more probes. 19 probe can go down the ramp. If he's already there, build a cyber core instead. Now 21 gas, 21 pylon, 22 if you won't forget, but you will forget, so stop fucking around. On the other side, does he have a gas? Yes, then you need maybe two build units. But if he has a Rex and just one gas, you're fine. Stop freaking out. Where's your second pylon? You need a pylon. You are platinum. Do you want to be diamond? Well, guess what? Fuck you. Build a second pylon. Where's your second pylon? You need a second pylon. Build a second pylon. So, if you pylon didn't follow six. it, this is literally a build order, not figuratively. I'm not a rapper. Team pylon, pylon 16 pro. Chrono boost, build a gate, scout with the pro. 17 assimilator, two more probes. 
19 probe can go down the ramp. So notice how there aren't three pylons described in your first 20 supply yet. What the fuck is this? If he's all shut up me. If he's already there means if he's NG Bay blocking you, you can't necessarily get a Nexus. Just get your cyber core. Otherwise you can get your Nexus. You may have just blocked your neck. Oh my god. So this... Ah, the IR chefs are back in force. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna slap a pylon in there. Alright, what's next? Two assimilators. Beautiful, beautiful. Three pylons, two assimilators. Are you sure this is an entree and not just a bunch of shitty appetizers? Psh. It's called, it's called artisanal build orders, all right? That doesn't mean they're good. It just means they're creative, and they really show the soul of, of the, the player. They, they show the Protoss player an empty vessel filled with absolutely nothing and nearly so little knowledge it might as well be nothing. And just whatever whimsical flows of magic, yes, whimsical flows of magic come to mind. Oh, Papyla. Simulator, Cybercore, Nexus Forge! Why not? We were gonna go for a Nexus, but we w heard it whispered on the wind. Cybercore! Oh my god, the wind has been smoking too much. Classic wind. Fuck. <clears throat> oh yeah, some more gates. So, it, what if he did build a reaper? Like, what if there was a reaper? Because there could be. There could have already been a reaper in your base. About... The Reaper comes out around 2 minutes, gets across the map by 2.30. I would have died. But you have a wall! You're at 22 out of 39 supply before the Nexus, which is 15 more supply finishes. <clears throat> ah, Robo! Yes! Hmm? 26 out of 62. Beautiful. Well done. Oh, Twilight? Yeah, throw that one in there. That usually comes with a robo. Another pylon. That's what we're missing. Haven't yet covered the entire base. I wonder when Amon's gonna send his first attack wave. Uh, no, that was a pretty slick chrono. That Nexus, that was a test run to make sure Chrono worked on the Nexus. And next time, when we actually build probes, we'll be able to Chrono them out. SCV, yeah, come on in, take a tour. Take a look around, like what you see. Charge, that's it. All right, all right. Okay, all right, this is the best part, guys. No idea. What is the next tech thingy? Is it a Stargate? Is it a Templar something? Is it like, like Dark Shrine or Templar archives? Or is it a Forge? Or is it none? Just none of them. Like, in the next 30 seconds or so, none of those things happen. Sub opportunity, alright? If you guys are right, three subs to the chat. If you're wrong, you get nothing. Good day. It's whatever's first, by the way. It can't be like, fucking... 
Templar Archives, three forges and a Stargate. That doesn't... Forge. Pretty safe call. Pretty safe call. Alright, a few zealots. Alright, I've warped for them. Okay. This is it. This is the moment, guys. This is the moment where we've managed to eliminate the variables. It's time. Gateway. Gateway. I mean, for a charge lot attack, that isn't a bad call. Those three not so charged lots are ready for battle. Detected. Yucky Balboa is chilling for five months. Thank you, Yucky Balboa. Oh my god, what a chase. The chase is on. So the answer was none, by the way. The, the short answer was none. It was like two more gates and then Observer Micro. We didn't have that on the... Ah, oh, yes, time for the... <laughs> ah, it's a prison! Get out! Ah... Uh... We'll get you. Just stand still for 18 seconds. You gotta give him, like, some credit for quick thinking there. All right. So. How do you know when you're trying too hard? I want you guys to follow the camera. Just, just don't think too hard. Go, get rid of the production tab. Just, just let the camera take you on a journey. I don't think we had nearly enough time to actually tell what was going on there, but... <laughs> well, looks like we've used the just winning strat. Um... I guess it works! GG! That's it. That's all of it. That's the whole thing. So, silver... It's a it's a B with an asterisk of like you should probably learn how to play any part of the game rather than just the warping and charge lots part. But the asterisk is you'll definitely rank up with this. Like you might not learn anything. You might hit a, a hard wall like plat when people realize that charge lots exist, but like it wasn't the worst charge lot execution I've ever seen. I mean, it was a build of sorts. Keeping that actually macro than panic. I like how the panic was not induced by anything, too. The panic was just, oh my god, I'm playing StarCraft. Because the Terran didn't attack. There was no attack. Oh, good. Now like, I have your attention. There, was no re there wasn't even a Reaper. There was an SCV. An SCV came in. That was it. That was all the Terran interaction. The master logo. Uh, oh, do not be intimidated by that. that uh, matchmaking does work Blizzard's if the skin they place over it doesn't. Months. Thank you, Sputter. Blizzard. As well, except for the master thing. Don't be... It's, it's a bug. It's a bug that happens way too often for too long and is super annoying but it's not he's not obviously he's not masters very clearly so oh we're on the hype train the last hype train of the angry coach marathon get on or get left behind don't miss out or i won't get as much money so um we do have a it's a custom game um, I'm not sure 
diamond, I guess. Oh, plat versus diamond. So it's just a direct download, so I have no way of verifying that. Um, from the is that killers clan? Uh, Kellers, like, like, as in Helen or? No, I don't oh, need mine, but now I do I want it, attention. which is why we're doing that sponsored Fox launch party. Right after months. this, we're going to wrap up the Angry Coach Marathon, and then we're going to jump into, uh, yeah, once again, this is a warning of, like, one, you need Amazon Prime to watch it, and two, it's not for all audiences. Uh, Killer five. Okay, all right, Mr. Five, Mr. Five, sir. Um, what the fuck? Where's your third Obi? You're over here, like... All right, so the third OV should have been built. We we are going to sit there jerking off a drone as it is a little too early because that drone should have been an OV. We're going to have another Overlord just hanging out where it's going to die to Marines. We're going to forget Zergling speed for like 15 seconds. This is going to be a good ending game, I think. That's my impression so far. All right, so you look at this situation. And you're like, I currently have six larvae. I have 360 minerals. Okay, a lot of people might try to tell you what to do here, but I, I want to hear it. What's our next priority? What what are we up to uh momentarily? Drones. Okay. What do you think you do? Jimmy, give me the So, if I was going to stereotype, if I was going to stereotype a Platinum Zerg player, here's what I would say happens. We might make a few drones, but we're going to get creep spread. We're going to realize that the Overlord is dying, going to panic, make too many Overlords that we don't need, get back to creep spread, and bank up a thousand minerals before the five minute mark. Six rounds. Now I have your attention. All right. Drain is chilling for 54 months. Good start. Get that creep kicked off. Overlord gets attacked. Five more drones. You know what? I'll give you credit on the five drones. Those five drones are a big deal at this stage. Going over 30 drones? Though, okay. So, we did just lose the Overlord. Didn't even look at it. Didn't even think about it. Shouldn't have been there in the first place, obviously. But, like, that is a completely unforced error. Overlords are not a... Co like, you can copy Cyril's Overlords. Overlords only move at the speed of Overlords, which are literally the slowest unit in the game. So, uh, not even Cyril can make his Overlords move faster. At least the first ones, obviously. So you can just not fly them into where they die to Marines. This is a good tip. I do appreciate the just lack of caring about it. I think you drain you. That's about 54 months. Beat box natural for eight. Isn't there, wasn't there an Overlord speed upgrade? Oh, is that free now? Is that free? Like a sub from Amazon Prime? Is it? Not like he couldn't afford it, though. And also, does it affect your very first Overlord? Overlord. 
So you have 450 fo like, no, mm. no. 450 gas, no lair, no evo chambers. What the fuck are you saving up for? You're gonna, are you the reason the, the prices are so high right now, gouging the market? Like, where, where is this gas going? It's not that you don't necessarily need it. It's, there is a time and a place, and that is as soon as possible spending it. There's no reason to bank it up. You don't have a spire in production. No, up, no nothing. 1,000 minerals before five minutes. You know what? Did I get there? Oh, I did get there. I was right. But to his credit, the reason he has a thousand minerals is because he already got 50 grand. So that was good. That gets you the lavender star of macro. But at the same time, you got to get the red asterisk of sadness because part of the part of the, the next issue down the line, which is a better issue to have, is, is way too much gas for no reason. That is better than not having enough minerals or not building drones. Yes. You can't, you can't just not build the lair. Or evos. Like, we're just forgetting parts of the game. Like, you just, you need to build, like, you, you, you gotta do something. Do something! So, you know what? It is better to have too much money and not be able to spend it. So that is... A better problem. But what if, what if there's like an air unit? Eh, let's not worry about that. One problem at a time. Sickest creep spread though. So how long is this game? This game is fucking 18 minutes long. If you built 25 more roaches right now, you would have 186 supply. It's not like you're not even that you're not even that far off on the larva. Okay? If you bet if you had 25 more 186 versus 93 supply. How do you think that goes? I don't care about roach speed or upgrades. That would relatively easily be 120 versus give your Terran some credit, some 45 army supply. But what are we gonna do? Are we gonna build? 50 more supply of roaches? Or even ravagers? Are we gonna creep spread and beat around the bush until the Terran abuses the fact we've never used control groups for our army? Take your predictions! The amount of right clicks headed directly towards this location. They know where to go! They'll figure it out! Maybe we should worry about other problems. We're supply we've been supply about to 144 for like this entire time. I guess he's gonna help them. I mean, it's almost cliche to give a strike to this. Because what do I say about every platinum Zerg? The the wrong priorities, too much money in the bank, tunnel vision. The very simple solution here, you don't even need to try. Just build more units. Just build more overlords and more units. Don't even need a tech switch. Don't need any fucking micro. In fact, we shouldn't even be looking at the roaches. It's not like micro's helping. Now I can stutter step down that barracks to half HP that's there for some reason. Jesus Christ. And everybody knows the best timing is without roach speed, about 10 seconds before your 1-1 one -one finishes. So that way, all your roaches are dead by the time you get your upgrades you've been waiting for and were way too late. And that way, the Terran doesn't know you have upgrades. And that's the real mind game. Just genius play there. Well done. Army is much stronger now. That, that's what mind games are all about. Bro, I'm dying. No, you're not, and that's the problem. I wish you were. Is it time for the rest of the lair tech tree for no reason? 
you could have just held down the R key this entire game, assuming you were able to build a few more overlords before it, but... Let's see, an infestation pit, a hydra den, maybe even another evo chamber or two. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, oh, remember how we were jerking off the drone before? It's completely... Did you see? It was red! It was... It's red! That means bad! Red is bad. It says 10 out of 8. So never mind the fact that you can go up to probably 12 or 14, and on a normal base you can go up to about 24 before you lose efficiency from the drone. Okay, few things. One... Is mineral mining efficiency a fucking priority? Not a high priority, a priority of any fucking kind right now. Is making sure we maximize the efficiency of that mineral production, one, any priority? Obvious answer, no. Okay. Is spending any amount of time thinking about it a good idea? No. What priorities could we have before this? Roach speed, injects, hotkeys for units, getting upgrades, that's how we matter. An infestation pit, macro hatches, overseers. Like any, any one of those things would be an order of magnitude more important than making sure you have exactly the right amount of mineral saturation. If you want to get over, like, go play fucking Dyson Sphere. All right, Dyson Sphere, fun sci-fi economy simulator. All right, I fully recommend it. It's great for people who want no pressure and making the numbers light up correctly. It's beautiful. It's a great game. It surprisingly probably runs on your potato. Like, go play fucking Dyson Sphere. Not this. This is not, not Zerg versus Terran. My God, the amount of time that was spent trying to get the exact right amount of drones. Do you need more gas? Do Is that what we when need? To help Do we need more gas? Did you just queue up? Ah, yes. Well, press the buttons. You see, Dyson Sphere is very good. You can queue up the, the tech upgrades. How sick is that? And here comes the F2 abuse. Okay. He's going to cheat by maybe attacking in more than one place at once. And... Jimmy, cue it up. It's time. Yeah, Liberator killed all the drones of the fourth. Yes. Of course it did. And now it's moving on. Into the main. There are no spores anywhere. So in order to use Burrow moves, you do need to upgrade Burrow, but it does give your roaches a cool skin. The Liberator died. Wait, how many kills? 20, 21, 24. It accidentally flew over a queen after 24. That's unfortunate. Came to making love, I learned my 
Excuse me, Excuse me for scribbling. I can barely write my name. Was he not building anything when he was A-moving? You already know the answer to that question. He'd play a real-time strategy game if he wanted to do that. He may still win, which is annoying. Oh, that's certainly a way to throw, if possible. He's really putting a lot of effort into losing here. But I think Macro may end up winning out over the Micro. Well, we're back to it. Just because it's stupid, just because it works, doesn't mean it's not stupid. If you could, you know, like, <sighs> everything was wrong, but enough was right. Let's try not getting over a thousand minerals before five minutes. Upgrades existing. Roach speed. Uh, that's a half and half. It's half shame. Shame. But also. Shame. Shame. Well. It's half shame, but also half. Well, fuck. Hang on. So it ends up at like a, a B minus for plat. Like a, you'll probably move up because you know how to build enough drones. It's just uh, how many? How many of your units have to die until you decide you're going to win the game? That's the summary. Like, that's what. Uh, well, anyways, we got to wake people up. So, well, gotta wrap it up, but. Welcome back, everyone. Wake up! It's the end of the video! And before it autoplays Loco's newest cast of the same game I casted on the same day. We don't really plan these things. Fuck me, right? But before it does that, make sure to smash that like button. And stay tuned if you're watching live. And if you're not, well, you missed out. Us vampires are gonna have a good old time watching a lot of exciting things. Like, more Angry Coach Marathons, which you can find with the fucking playlist or some shit. I don't- I assume the playlist works. Sometimes not updated. Jimmy is not on top of it all the time, but, like, well, we'll see. Anyways, so we- we saw a wide variety of Terrans. We saw, saw a lot of the same Zergs. There were also some Protoss there. Mostly there for a participation award, it looks like. But that's just Protoss in general. So... I hope you enjoyed uh, this Angry Coach Marathon, or at least you watched the entire thing and all the ads. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. Thank you guys for watching. I still don't know what was going on with that fucking replay. Trapdoor Spider, explain yourself. All right, when are you in the... Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, to those of you that are still actually playing at the end of the day, you're better than the rest. Good luck. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.